Welcome back to the Morning Blend and our pet project brought to you by Fleet Farm. All right, here's the deal. If you love wabbits, then you're gonna to wanna to hear this. The Wisconsin Humane Society just rescued 25 of these furry little animals, and now these adorable bunnies need your love and attention. Allie Christman is here to tell us more about the foster care that they do um, and there's an urgent need for right with the Wisconsin Humane Society. Good to see you but first you brought Junie um, and we have to talk about her. She's not a bunny. Notably not a bunny. Not no. a bunny. She's so Hi, sweet though. Um, she's six years old. Hi. She is available for adoption at the Milwaukee campus and you'll notice she kind of doesn't interact a ton with people. Yeah. So she was actually rescued from a facility that bred animals for oh. animal testing. Look at her um, So she was one of the 4,000 beagles that people may have seen in the headlines recently. Oh. After the facility was shut down. So she came to Hi. us. Um, she probably lived in a cage her whole life. Oh. Her job was to make babies and get those babies healthy enough so they could oh. go off for animal testing. So, so sweet. She's so sweet, and when she got here, you know, a matter of weeks ago, it was probably her first time walking on a leash, mm. feeling grass, playing with toys, and learning what it's like to live with humans, so. Oh, are you gonna be so happy to have a yeah. home, honey? Yeah. You know, I think it's so sweet. We were talking about even, you know, when you mentioned she doesn't even know really how to interact with humans. Mm -hmm. When I first met her, we always, you know, let a dog smell you. She doesn't even really do that. It's not really in her her demeanor at this point to even mm -hmm. like check me out as a human. She really just chills out. Do yeah. you think she would be good even with someone who is more sedentary or should she be with somebody that's going to kind of bring her out of her shell and make her more active? Yeah, I think we'll need a lot of patience in the beginning oh, sorry. for her. <laughs> um, there you are. Um, so ideally probably a quieter home, yeah. um, not a ton of chaos as she adjusts to. And then yeah, taking those baby steps, taking her out to eat on a patio, mm. you know, doing those errands, getting her used Look to what her. the world is. Um, but she is such a wonderful pup, and she yeah. just kind of wants to learn yeah. and is, is still getting used Hi, to it honey. all. She is. She's so sweet. Let's talk about these bunnies that you rescued mm -hmm. as well. So first, before we get to that, because this the whole point of this is potentially fostering yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So you have a very robust foster program. Do you always need more fosters, and what is the foster program like for yeah. people? always need more fosters. Um, it's amazing. We have, you know, animals who need some medical support, behavioral support, um, too young. So kittens or puppies who aren't two months Ooh. yet. Uh, they just have to grow bigger. And rather than sitting in the shelter where it's, it's loud and it can get crowded in the summer and can be stressful, yeah. uh, they go into foster homes and they just get to, you know, sleep on the couch or hang out in a room and feel so much more comfortable and then we get to learn more about those animals too because we see their behavior in a home. True, that's a great point. It's That's actually something you haven't touched on as much before is just like you, how much you learn mm -hmm. from foster families and it doesn't really cost to be a foster, correct? No, we give you the food, the supplies, all the instructions you need. We just need, you know, a soft a place home. for them to land, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So talk about the current needs. Uh, are you are you in need for animals mm -hmm. like Junie? Are you in need just for the bunnies? Um, all of the above. So we do expect that we'll be getting um, more beagles from that facility within the coming week. Um, and we do expect that this group will be older adults um, who need more time to adjust either behaviorally, maybe some medical issues. So foster will be really important for that. Mm. Um, but also these rabbits. So Lakeshore Humane actually just took in hundreds of animals. Mm. Uh, they have Look a rescue those effort rabbits. right now. And 25 of those rabbits came to us. So rabbit foster parents right now as well. Um, you know, they are yeah. totally different. They take up less space in your home. So people who were thinking, oh, I, I don't have the yeah. room, you know, rabbits might be a good fit for you. And, and with other pets sometimes, they're mm -hmm. okay too. So real quick, can rabbits also be outside or do they need to be inside? Inside the home? Or yeah. The, yeah. Or um, outside in a cage. I mean, what in, is the... Yeah, what yeah. Is the, you would just have them inside. Inside. Um, yeah, and we can supply the cage and everything mm -hmm. like that, the bedding everything you need. So you just have a little house guest for a while. We had a rabbit for a little while growing up and I, I loved it. We had rabbits, we had hamsters, we had cats. We, I mean, we had the whole gamut. I feel like a lot of families start small mm -hmm. and kind of work there, <laughs> see if the kids up. can be yeah. responsible enough. Mm -hmm. And I think fostering would be a great way to do mm -hmm. that. Plus you're doing something good, but for yeah. families who think maybe, maybe a pet would be a good idea, but aren't quite sure, I feel like fostering is a nice introduction 
to owning an animal. Yes, and foster parents get first dibs on adopting. So, really? Yeah, we do not frown on that at all. People call it, you know, a foster fail. Um, yeah. We love that. That's an animal finding a loving home. So that's the best thing we could hope for. So how do people get involved? Do they have to come in and, and meet animals? Do they choose their animal or do you choose that for fostering? You can get started online right now. You mm -hmm. watch a 15 minute orientation, fill out a form, and then our team gets back to you as soon as they can. And then, yeah, you pick out the animal. So you go online, find out how long do they need care for, yeah. what do I need to do, uh, decide what's best for your family, and then sign up for them. All right, when my 20-year-old kitty, <laughs> you know, passes over the little rainbow, mm -hmm. I, I know I'm gonna foster. So a lot of you out there are interested. We're gonna give the information. Thanks for being here, Allie. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Junie. And if you're interested in adopting Junie, look at that face, <laughs> or becoming a foster parent with the Wisconsin Humane Society, just call them. It's 414-ANIMALS. You can also go online where Allie said you can get started with fostering at WIHumane. Org. And a very special thank you to Fleet Farm for sponsoring our pet project. You can get the guaranteed lowest prices on dog and cat food right at Fleet Farm.